Hello, kind world. It's your man, Will B, and my man, Sherrod Corner. Together, we make two soul brothers doing great things. It's a podcast right from the soul of the soul and heart to the heart. We give you good talk and good music on the Soul Important Radio, and then we have the Soul Vision Podcast as well. So let's just keep doing what we're doing. And tap on in, y'all. Hit that like and subscribe button, and let's go ahead and get into this thing right now. Well, we're we're going to break down James Ingram's 100 Ways. Right. You know, the lyrics, what they mean to me, what they mean to you, mm-hmm. from a married man's perspective to a single man's perspective. Okay. And we may or may not agree. True. You know, like, you know how we do, you know, we're, we're two Virgos. Yeah. So we, we, we're, we're, we're opinionated. You are opinionated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was just messing with Okay. You, so this is what we're going to mm-hmm. do. I'm going to read the first uh, verse. verse and then you you know you read the next one and then we're gonna break this joint down right. uh, so she says compliment what she does send her roses just because if it's violins she loves let them play then it says dedicate her favorite song and hold her closer all night long love her today you gotta find 100 ways compliment what she does to me, when you say compliment what she does, just be appreciative of the things that she do, you know, that she's doing around the house, cooking, she's cleaning, hell, whatever she's doing around the house, let her know that, yo, it's, it's not going unnoticed. You know what I'm saying? And what we do a lot of times in these relationships or what I've done, mm-hmm. I can't speak on you, what what I've done in relationships is we take those little things for granted. Mm-hmm. And in the, in, the, in the beginning, you're like, oh, baby, thank you for that. Thank you for this. Thank you. Then all of a sudden, as the relationship gets older, those thank yous are far, few and far between. Mm-hmm. And, you, and you, you're you not doing the things that you were doing in the beginning, you know, that she appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So compliment what she does. Hey, dang, she just got her toes done. She got her nails yes, done. Uh, you got, know, yeah. notice the little things that she's doing. You know, I, I, I think that I think women really dig the small stuff absolutely you know as a married man the small things mean a lot and where it says compliment what she does that's exactly what that means say something nice to your woman even when she's in her worst look at her coming and don't go you know what baby you looking good to me today that's just giving her a compliment because she might be feeling a shitty way <laughs> you know not feeling attractive or something then here you come through the door with your big old smile and going you know oh man you looking good <laughs> hey you know what and you know what though how is it that women will go out and say, I'm looking horrible, I'm looking horrible. You know what I'm saying? To us, you know, it's like, okay, you know, what, what what's wrong? My hair ain't this, mm-hmm. what, what dig this? I take all of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y- you have an issue with how you look. I yes, don't. Sir. There you go. <laughs> you there know you what go. I'm saying? I, I do don't. Not. I, I don't. I love that all natural about you anyway. There that's you what go. that's what attracted me to you. So when you get made up and dressed up, that's just a plus for me. That's you know what I mean? That's 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 what's what you call it. that's that's the icing on the top. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, you know, you want your woman to not get into that 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 comfort zone where she's just bumming it all day long. <laughs> Absolutely. But, but you also can't bum it either. Absolutely. You know, so whatever you expect from her. You got to get that back, man. You know what I mean? Absolutely. (laughs) Absolutely. Like I tell folk, man, how you go into that relationship, what made you get involved and how you did it, you got to continue that in your relationship, whether you're married or not married, because the same way you got them, that's the same way you keep them. So you complimenting her and taking her out and making her smile and making her feel good, making her feel giddy. You got to continue doing that regardless how long it goes on. Yeah, things get tough, but you cannot forget that y'all in this together, so you gotta, she, you gotta do your little thing so she can do her little thing. So if you, you gotta hit the refresh button. That's it. My <laughs> wife and I got this thing where we sort of one up one another. You know, like she might do something grandiose for me, and I'm like, God damn, you got me on that one. You got me. So dig the next that, time around, that, that. I come at her. She don't know, and I, like I say, I one up her. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's She's cool. like, oh, you got me. I'm like, yeah, I won up your ass. She's like, oh, we that, doing that game now. So, you know, it's fun for us. You know, we don't do it cool. all the time. You know, but it's just one of those. But that's that 
They keep it fresh, man. That's another reason why we've been together so long, too. So man. then now you send the roses just because. Mm-hmm. Come on. You know, I don't I don't need a reason. I don't need a reason. This this it may not even be just to say I love you. It's just because this is what I felt would have brightened your day at this moment in time. Yeah. You know, it's just because. Why? Hey, I was just thinking about you. Here you there go. There you go. You know, and it may not be roses. It could be anything that she likes. She may not particularly like roses, mm-hmm. but that's just in a song for me. That's just symbolic of just hey, hooking her up with something just because. Just because, exactly. I, I'm very relatable to that. All uh, right. We don't typically do the holidays and things like that, mm-hmm. so I've always done little things that made her say, "Wow, you thought enough about me." You know, because she has a certain candy that she like. I ask people all the time, "Do you know your girl's favorite candy?" Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Say, why don't you know your girl's favorite candy? Because she may be having a bad day or. Just the thought, the fact that you thought enough about her to come in the door and say, hey, I was just thinking about your day. Your, your week is set for a week, at least a week because you thought enough to say whatever that candy was, right. you bring it to her in a big bag or just a, 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 it might be a Kit Kat, but you thought enough about her to say, hey, yeah. you didn't even call and ask for this. I was just thinking about it's you. It's those little and things. That's where man. that comes in. That If it's violins that she loves. You know, I do a card just because, you know, and it, sometimes they be ha- women go through stuff like we do. They may be having a bad day. Mm-hmm. They may have had a bad phone call. They may just had a rough day. And here you come with that card just for no reason. For no reason. Yeah. And it just brings up a whole day. And you good for a week. Trust me, fellas, a week. <laughs> and he says, if it's violin she loves, let them play. And I think, you know, and see, I'm, I'm reading these all as symbolisms, right? Mm-hmm. If it's violins. But guess what? What if it's she just enjoy you going to the grocery store with mm-hmm. her, you know, watch her shoe shop? You know, now I'm not gonna lie, I love to watch a woman shop for shoes. Yeah. You know, I, I love that because see, you get to see them in their element. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's cool for me to just. It's like damn, they, they're at their happiest, <laughs> you yeah. know, when they're buying shoes or whatever it is that they love to do. You know, let them do it, enjoy them. What it, you know, whether it, whether it's going out to the grocery store, whether it's watching them shoe shop or whatever, even if it's she loves to hear violins, let them play for her. No doubt. You know, every every now and then, again, surprise her with these things. You know, and like I said, I'm speaking from a man that has, I've jacked up enough relationships in my day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, 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 I, can, and I, can, I can look myself in the mirror and say, okay, you know, we can always try to point to somebody else and what they may have done. Mm-hmm. But if we want to empower ourselves, we got to embrace the things that we did wrong. Yes, sir. And then we got to change them so that whenever you either get back together or get in another relationship, you will be a better version of yourself. You said it, man. That's a mouthful right there. I, ain't, I have no, no rebuttal on that one because you said it all. <laughs> I, you know, just speaking from experience. Hey, hey. <laughs> so it says, where we at? Dedicate. Yeah, dedicate her favorite song and hold her closer all night long. Love her today. Find 100 ways. What that means to me is you dedicate that favorite song. That that If she asks for some time, mm-hmm. you dedicate that time. If she asks for uh, anything from you that she just needs from you and she puts it out there dedicate that effort to take care of that for her because a lot of times she feels that she can do it herself but if she's asking you she really needs your so help so basically what you're saying you got to listen to your woman you got to listen to you got to listen to her and learn her yeah because you what you dedicating that time and that effort yeah. to what it is that she wants so dedicate her favorite song and hold her closer all night long so if you dedicate what it is that you need to do for her Guess what? She gonna snuggle up in your arms because that's safety. Mm-hmm. And you just hold her all night long. Love her today. Find 100 ways. You got to find 100 different ways so you can love her, make her, uh, what's the word? I'm Cherish her. And... Cherish her, but f- make her feel safe and secure. And you know what? You know what? We, we, we often speak of protection, but mm-hmm. protection is just not physical. Absolutely. You know, it's emotional, Absolutely. spiritual, and financial. And, and that's what I was you know? getting at. Yeah. Okay. So, that's... you know, and, and that's what I'm saying. So when we, when, we, when we reach out to hold her, you don't have to hold her physically all the time. All you the can time. hold True. her down emotionally, True. physically, 
spiritually. It's, it's, it's one of those things where when your woman talk about you, when you're not there, it's supposed to be like Shantae's got a man at home. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying? Yes, <laughs> you sir. see what I'm saying? Just like, or Jill Scott, when she's like, yo, y'all go to the club. I'm about to go home and beat the high school. Yes, sir. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Come and on. and that's the, those are the things, you know, as I get older and mature and, 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 and things of that nature, you want your woman to compliment you on this like, you want you want you want her friends to get sick of you. Come on, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's like, she's talking about him again. Be <laughs> like, man, leave her where she at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't yeah. forget, there could be an old lover in her memory. If you need her so much more, why don't you say? Mm. Now, we can take that in a couple different ways. I'm gonna take it from this angle. Not that you should have to worry about somebody else doing something. You should just do regardless. Because see, if you just do, you ain't got you ain't got to worry about nobody. Mm -hmm. So don't sit there worrying about an old lover in their memory. Just handle your business right now in the present moment. And you ain't got to worry about the past or the future of her being with anybody else. Take care of your shit right now. Nah. You ain't saying nothing but the word, youngster. You ain't saying nothing but the word. That's exactly what that mean, man, because everybody has somebody in their life before they got with the person that they're with. So everybody go. has an ex. So if you're doing your part, she ain't got time to be thinking about the ex. She not even trying to compare because you're doing whatever it is that you need to do to keep her where she needs to be. There you go. There you go. You know, there that's you just that simple, man. Uh, What we got? Um... Uh, Mm, maybe. maybe she has it in her mind that she's just wasting her time. You ask her to stay, find 100 ways. So <laughs> if she's feeling, feeling a certain way, man. Feeling neglected. You know, she, she may bring that to your attention. Maybe she has it in her mind that she's wasting her time. And now this is at that point in the relationship where it got rocky. You know what I mean? So What they say, you got to piss or get up off the pot? <laughs> 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 this is where the relationship is going rocky, and she's trying to figure out, damn, am I wasting my time? Is he even worth the time that I'm spending? You know, are you? And that, this is when you have to look in the mirror and go, damn, am I doing what I'm supposed to do for her to think this way? You got to break that down. She has to look at herself. Y'all have to have that conversation. It's going to be hard. Yeah. But that's when you sit down and at, at 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, waking up out to sleep. And you ain't got time to think of no damn answers because <laughs> they hit you with that and you just, it, it happens, you know, and y'all had that real talk. That's what that's about. When you say, and, go ahead. And, and, and another thing, speaking on that talk, that talk, mm -hmm. for, for us men, we, we got to learn how to listen to the words they say to us. Mm -hmm. And not not only just listen, we got to hear it, mm -hmm. you know, and, and understand where they're coming from, you know. A lot of times, man, when you when you're dealing with a woman that really truly loves you and care for you, and she starts telling you about things you're doing that's hurting her or that has hurt her, listen. Absolutely. Because guess what? You didn't do it just once or twice. Mm. If you hurt her to the point where maybe she has it in her mind that she's just wasting her time, you've done this shit consistently. Yes. And now she's just tired and it's set tired. up. It's like and she ready to it just it's, it's, she ready to let it go. Yeah. But she giving you that that one last chance. That's why she said, "Let's uh, waste enough time. To you. Ask her to stay." That's why she she's giving you that one last conversation. This gonna make it or break it. Yeah. You know, so it, it goes both ways. But it's right now. This is about her. He's speaking about her. Damn. She's bringing this to my attention. Let me listen. Let me listen and see what it is I need to change. That's going to keep this thing together. Because so often, we'll dominate our conversation. As, as men, I know I did. And I have to. You know, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll over talk or dominate the, I mean, dominate the conversation. Yeah. And, you know, as soon as the, well, let me tell you something that's on my mind. No, no, let me tell you something. Yeah. And, you know, I'm guilty of that, been guilty of that, man. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, it's all about growth. If if my my pop said if you stop if you stop learning you stop living yeah yeah you know so I, I continue I, I I plan on to keep living so there's a lot of learning to do so now being cool won't help you keep a love warm 
you'll just blow your only chance. Take the time to open up your heart. That's the secret of romance. And the lyrics say it all. Because <laughs> it, it, cause I, I, know, I know, man, I, I, I can put up a wall, homie, and, yeah. and I can become stoic. And I and, and I can I can make it to the point where I I can have it to where you can't penetrate me with nothing. I, I can become e- emotionless. You know what I'm saying? I can become that individual that it looks like I don't give a fuck about nothing. Dude, I've had that wrong to my attention. She said, your nonchalantness get Thank on my you. freaking nerves. It's like you don't even care. I say, well, what it is is that I don't like confrontation too much, so what I would do, I would walk away to calm myself so I can come back and have that conversation. They don't like that. Women, Some women don't like that at all. Man, I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> my, my nonchalant is me protecting myself from feeling hurt. Mm, okay. So it's like when, I, when, I, when, I, when I'm in that, that mode of I don't give a fuck, you know, it's, it's, it's protection for mm, me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. it's, it's, that sounds about right. it's, it's like before you get me, I'll get you. You know, that's that's okay, just me. That's I how that's how I'm rocking. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. okay. And you should never enter into a relationship thinking of the end. Oh. <laughs> you know what nah. I'm saying? And, nah. and, and 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 I've done that. You know, you, you Really? Oh yeah, bro. You know, I, 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 I'm sitting here thinking like how do you think of the end? Let me, let me just tell you. Getting involved, you know how? What's okay. The, how do you get to the end of that? Let me tell you. Okay. When, I'm when, I, when I say I'm thinking of the end, I'm thinking of, you know, if this happens, it won't be me hurt. You know, wow. I'm gonna protect me. Okay. So I see I'm, where you're going I'm, with that. Like you said, being cool won't help you keep your love warm. Keep a love warm, you'll just blow your only chance. Take the time to open up your heart, man. I close this boy down. Wow. Okay. You know, and that's the secret of romance. Once what I found out is the better version of me is when I open this boy up. Yes, sir. And it's like, you know, you get this look like, who the hell are you? You know, like yeah. to be a stranger in my house, yeah. you know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. It's <laughs> like, so when I open that up and allowed it to come through, you know, you get that look like, this ain't you. You know, and when in fact, it really is you. Yeah, you just but sort of had that wall up. It's like, man, I had, to, I, I had to protect myself. Right. Or I thought I did. True. I thought I did. And that's what I'm trying to, This, you know, my conversation today is for younger men out mm-hmm. here because I, don't, I, I was led astray as a young man by the older cats. You know, you got to be this, you got to do this, you did. And, and now that I look back on a lot of this shit that I was told, man, Y'all ain't no shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was it's told like, the same stuff, like, bro. Y'all, y'all <laughs> some idiots, man. I was told you know? the same stuff, you know? You got to do this. You got to do that. Don't be out here doing this. You got to make sure the woman this and that, you know? It's, and it's a compromise, you know? It's, and it's I a, learned that being married at a young age, you know, I, I don't recommend nobody getting married at 20 or 25. Wait until you're 30-ish. Get some stuff out your out your way. Oh, okay, that's a whole nother podcast. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, I got married young, so I, I'm relatable to that. Man. Okay. So it's like it's like, uh, do you do you not do you? You know, it's just ah, uh, long story. But uh, sacrifice if you care. Buy her some moonlight to wear. If there's one more thing she wants, go all the way. That man, the lyrics alone says it by itself. You know, mm-hmm. if if you sacrifice a little bit to the woman that you're in love with, a woman that you want to be with, when he had, when he says buy her some moonlight to wear, that's just whatever it is that she needs. Mm-hmm. She's getting it from you, and she's loving it, and you're loving it because it's just it's you you can see that that glow in her. Yeah, that 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 energy that you put that you gave that's building her up, you know, because it starts with the person that you are. You can't make anybody else happy, but you can do little things to guide them to their happiness, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not doing it, you're not making them happy, but you're doing the little things that guide them so they can understand that they are within themselves true and can build up to become happy. And that's what I take from that because you're giving her that moonlight where she can wear it and wear it well. That's what okay. you're building her up. 
if that makes sense. Okay. You're building that woman up so it, she can love herself a little bit more. Now, on that on that part where you're not making her happy, I, I love to say your job is not to make anyone happy, mm -hmm. but your job is to not disturb their happiness. Yeah, that, that's good. I like, so the, way that. I like it, the way you worded that. I like the way you worded that. You know, because I'm, I'm looking at this sacrifice if you care. Mm -hmm. Buy her some moonlight to wear. Mm -hmm. If there's one more star she wants, go all the mm -hmm. way. Yes, sir. Okay, sacrifice if you care. If I go back to the line the, to, to the line up about the heart, mm -hmm. sacrifice, mm -hmm. bro, you got to become vulnerable. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's about vulnerability and being comfortable with being vulnerable. And I think, you know what, man, I think being out here in the streets doing what we do and, you know, just wilding out, you know, you, you take that, that protective mode of being in the streets and surviving, you bring that shit home. Mm. And when you bring it home and, and what people don't understand is if you've been out there long enough doing what you've been doing long enough, it's second nature. Yeah. And not not only is it you take that shit into, you know, bringing it from the streets to home, you take it to work. You every Everywhere you go, you're thinking survival, survival, mm -hmm. survival. You know, it's time to survive. No, it's time to thrive. Yeah. You know, we, we got it. I know. I know. Like I said, I had to. Get out that mindset of, you know, I gotta protect myself. From what, homie? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you you're removed from the street situation. You you're years removed from it. Now what are you protecting yourself from? Yeah. You know, so if you sacrifice, sacrifice if you care. Man, you gotta get rid of that old mindset. That's that, true. The old you gotta die. You gotta sacrifice the old you to become the new improved you. Come on. Right? Buy her some moonlight to wear. You know what I'm saying? You want to see that spirit come up. Come on. You want her to light up. Yeah, man. When, when she comes in that house, when you come in that house or she comes in to see you, she yes, should sir. light up. Yes, bro. sir. She should be like, oh, man, this is my man. This, yeah. Hey. And you you want that relationship where, you know, she's all over you. Yeah. No you know what I'm saying? You yeah. you want that. Every and, man likes that. I don't, care, I don't care what man say. We like that to be. Yeah. What's that word I'm looking for? Not catered to. Uh, Tampered. Yeah, we you may not y'all may not think that, but we love oh, that. Yeah. Oh, oh, come here, baby. Oh my God, you look so handsome today. And that rub on the back of the neck, or that that little hug and that little kiss on the ear, like, oh, did she just do that? Look, <laughs> even when he's trying to pretend like he don't like it, he like that shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm he, getting he, at, he guys. Y'all like know we like that shit, man. You know. Quit, quit front. Let her know. <laughs> it's if, okay. If there's one more star she wants, go all the way. No doubt. You know what? This is the part where I tell you. Young men, that you're not simping when you're doing this for your yeah, woman. Come on. Well, your woman is doing any and everything she can to preserve the happiness in the crib. When she's doing any and everything she can to preserve the, that that link y'all have together, bro, go all the way. It, it's no such thing as simping with your woman when she's doing she's she's appreciating and reciprocating your effort. It's it's not simping. Not at all. You know, not at all. You, you're a grown man when you recognize what she's doing, and then you, you project what you expect. So if you expect her to be faithful, loyal, loving, and all that good shit, you got to be that back. Yeah, she got to see it in you. You know, in your um tonight, she'll reflect that she owes you the sweetest of debts. If she wants to pay, find one hundred ways. <laughs> Mm. Come on, man. I'm going to let you hit that one. All I'm, right. I'm, <laughs> See, now, in your arms tonight, as, as we say, you know, when you lay down at night, you hold your woman. This is when she cuddles into you. Yeah. Right? You know, because it's like no matter where you are and you grab her, you hold her tight, she snuggles into you. It's that warmth. It's that safety. It's this, I know this man loves me. You know, when when a woman is confident in you, <laughs> when she when she when she knows you're not full of shit. See, for the lack of better words, because I know I know women hate that word submissive, right? Yeah. Because it's do. like it's like being hit over the head with the caveman club, right? And it's but not even that. Submissive, being submissive is very very powerful. Yeah. You know, they don't see see a lot of a lot of these feminist women don't understand how powerful being submissive is. Yes, Case in point, okay. let's take the lion. He has a pride of women. Yes, sir. They've all submitted to him. Mm -hmm. Right. 
But as soon as he can't perform, they replace his ass. Yes, sir. And they will attack and kill him. Yep. So when you're submissive, you're just letting this man know, as long as you're performing, I will follow you. There you go. As long as you're leading in a direction where I can see or at least explain to me where we're going. Yes, sir. I will follow you. Yep. But as soon as you start taking me in a direction where, yo, this, this is a back alley and it's dark and we ain't got no light. I can't roll with you. I can't no roll with you. So when you take that submission away, that's power. Yeah. You know, giving submission is power because you can take that shit back. Absolutely. So. When she see, when your woman really has confidence in you and you're holding her, you can tell, man, because your woman will snuggle into you, man. Oh, y'all will become one person. That's what She'll that, hug you to the point where y'all are one. That's where that security comes <laughs> right. in. She feels safe in your arms and safe in your presence. And it's not all about the big macho type guy type deal. No. No, no, no. It's just being in your presence, she feels secure in what it is. That's going on in their lives. Man, when you're securing your manhood, like they said, she'll reflect that she owes you the sweetest of debts. The sweetest of debts is just her loving you and doing the things around the house, man. You know, now she's happy to do these things. You know, hey, baby, I'll bring you a plate. That, you know, you watching the game. You ain't. You didn't say, "Baby, go get me a plate." No. Hey, she see. She see that yeah, you. Yeah, okay, yeah. my man sitting there resting. He watching the game. He done took care of business this week. Yeah. I'm hey, you want something play. to drink too with that bag? Yeah, I, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. Thank you so much, love. I'll be down in a minute. And yeah. you just sitting there wondering where that come from. But she she owes you the sweetest of the debts. That's because she's comfortable and feeling safe around you. And if she wants to pay that debt. You find a hundred ways. ways. So when you find in a hundred ways, that means you're going out doing things that's going to earn this. Come on. Coming right back Come to on. you. Come on. Yeah. You know what? Damn. There you that, go. See, that goes all the way up back up to the first yeah, line. There you go. Yes, sir. It does. You know, buying the roses just because. Yeah. And it's not always about buying expensive things. It's little things. See, little things, when you do little things and you do them and you keep doing them, that's called consistency. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> you know sir. what I'm saying? Yes, when you're consistent with something, you know, then you don't have to worry about the great big gift. Grandiose stuff. Yeah. It's like, they, they still like it. Oh, yeah. They, no, no, no. But, they, they still like it, but it's not It's not something. See, a lot of dudes use the big gift to get them out the doghouse. Yeah, yeah. When you buy the big gift, that's just like, oh, shit. Mm. What I do. Right. <laughs> what I do to deserve this. You're you. That's it. That's it. That's, That's all it is. That's all it is, man. Where we at? You better believe it or love her today. Find 100 ways. I'm telling you to love her today. Find 100 ways. That's just... That's just us older guys telling y'all younger guys when you got a woman that's down to, to roll with you. And see, back in the day, we used to say, ride or die for you. Yeah. You know, and I'm going I'm to I'm I'm push my brand out. To that, we, we no longer ride or die. We rise yes, and fly. Yes, sir. You know, so when you got a woman, because see, so often in this day and time, a woman wants you to have won the lotto already <laughs> in order for her to say she'll be submissive to you. But when you have a woman that will help you rise and fly, that means she sees something in you. Yeah. She trusts you. Yes, sir. She has confidence that you will lead in a manner that both of y'all will grow from. Mm. Man, she'll be the fuel in your jet. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So those are the things. Like I said, I had to I had to go through some some fucked up situations, mm -hmm. bruh, in order for me to, you know, just, just enlighten yourself, basically. Yeah, enlighten myself. Yeah, yeah. that's all it is. It, it, you you had a, a a conscious you had a state of mind that was not purposeless to what it is that you are right now. So uh, I get where you're coming it from. It wasn't you, conducive with yeah. relational growth. Yeah, exactly. That, <laughs> you that, know what I'm exactly. You broke that down very well. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. And now you're going, oh, your eyes are open. Going, well, damn, I see myself and how I was and. That change that needs to come about, and you, and, and it takes a man to realize those things that he was doing wrong, and say, "Well, damn, let me step back." Yeah. Okay, I need to fix this because I'm either wind up closing myself off or hurting someone in the process yep. emotionally, and 
And so you don't, you, you really don't want to do that because whew, that hard being broken boy is a terrible thing. Hey, and you know what? And I'm gonna I'm go out on a limb to say this. Just say, as a man, you go out, you did all, you did all this stuff we talked about, mm-hmm. but it's too late. Ooh. You know, it's too late. You know, hey, don't stop becoming a better person. You know, don't don't stop trying to improve the person you are. You because go. see, the next person coming along. See, when, when you start doing good shit, the universe starts putting good people, people in front of you, in front of you uh, right? Come on. So be careful what you ask for because the old folks say you just may get it. You so if you say, it. hey, I want another woman, this time I'm going to be right. Well, the next time you get a good woman, you got to be right. So if... From that relationship, you started and you recognized your growth and you started growing, but it's too late. You know, sometimes good people do get tired. Yeah. And, you know, if you lose her that way, they said it's better to have have had love and lost it than to never have had love at all. Mm -hmm. That's when you just say, okay, be a man about it. You got to understand, oh, okay, 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 okay. This is what this was. I'm going to embrace the role I played in the demise of my relationship. Come on. So you can empower yourself later on to become that better version of you. And we were just speaking on that. I say some people are in your life for a season and a reason, but you got to have a reason for that season. Mm-hmm. So some of that time, that person that you thought you may be in love with, they was preparing you for the right person to come into your life down the road. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So you, you're learning who you are and who, you know, that they may have been, you may have been that, Reason for somebody else's season. Hey, 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 remember the movies? What, what she? What uh, she said? Oh, you want to be a family man now, huh, Ike? <laughs> yeah, you know. And, and 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 you and you will become a better person. Yeah. And yo, know, you owe it to the person that sat you down. Yeah. And made you realize what it was. Yeah, it might have been too late to say what you had at that time, but it's not too late to go into something, you know, new and make it better. Yeah. And be the and see now when you go into this, you have no excuse. Mm. See all, all all the bullshit is going on. Yeah. You, you you don't you don't have an excuse on yo I'm hard you know I'm this and no 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 bro we you, you done talked it out. Mm-hmm. Now it's time for you to live it out. Come on, you know what I'm saying. So now it's time for you to become the better or the best version of you. And when you become the best version of you, that best version is only for that moment. Because life is about continued growth. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So now it's like, man, it's it's like it's man that light bulb comes on, bro. Absolutely, and, man. And guess what? When you st- when you start giving, it becomes easier. Easier it does. And then once it becomes easier to give, man, you, you're you're opened up to receive now. A lot of people don't get it, man. Oh, but you know, it's that that we're speaking truth and light right now, man, and. And hopefully it's not going over too many people's heads, but that's that's how the universe works, man. That's how the world works. If you humble yourself and do what it is that you need to do, mm-hmm. good things are going to come to you because you're putting out good energy and you're doing good things. And that's what he's getting at. So when you put out those good things, you're going to receive good things because you're doing great things. It's just that easy. But when you put out negative energy and do negative things, negative things come your way. It's just that easy. Project what you expect. Come on. You Come know, on. and and fellas, don't be afraid to go all out for your woman. Don't. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna be now. See this now, now. This is me being myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when it comes to these old random ass pieces of chicks out here, hell no. You you don't you don't splurge on something that ain't yours. I I really don't. You know I I can't subscribe to that. Now if y'all working towards something, right? If you're working towards something, man. Those little things, you you see, you will understand who she is by those little things. Yes, sir. If she appreciate the little things, if she appreciate the you, little you'll things. You'll know. Oh, oh wow! But if she one of those women that you give a little, why you give me that little thing? This, what, this, what, what is this, that all about? That bracelet only two fifty. You know what I'm saying? If you got one of those in your in your book, you might want to stand back and regroup for a minute. Bro. And it's like, hmm, bro. Is she like that mm. now? We are not even. You know, in a place where we can grow yet, how is it going to be when we finally? Oh no! Nah. Hey man, if, <laughs> if she say she hungry, and you take her to Chipotle or on, or, yeah. or Applebee's, and she frown up her nose, but she said she was hungry, bruh, 
Get get her an Uber. What's up? <laughs> you, know what I'm yeah, you know what? Since you want to be ungrateful and I'm thankful, you ain't got to eat nothing. I'm going to sit here and eat. Hey, as, as a matter of fact, don't even get her an Uber, man. She hey. better get on the simple smart bus or whatever they no, call it now. I ain't that mean. I ain't that mean. I, she, she probably won't eat, though. She'd be mad mug because I'd be sitting there like, yeah. Remember the, the oh, it's too cheap for you, but this two for twenty one is good enough for you. But this chicken show sure tastes good right now. And she's sitting there. But you know, you can call somebody if you want to. You can if you want to. And I'm gonna kill this appetizer by myself. <laughs> yeah, <too. I> mean, <laughs> Oh boy, he said, "Oh, love her, oh, love her, oh, love her, one hundred way. Yeah, you got to love her. Find one hundred ways. That's that's what you got to end this off, man. Just find one hundred ways. The song says it alone in the title. It's okay. find one hundred ways. You give what you give, and you're gonna receive what you receive. If you give a hundred, she gonna give you back a hundred." And the ones that's not meeting you in the middle when you're giving out that much and they complaining about this, that, and the third, that ain't for it's time you. to let them go because yep. it's not for you because it's going to be a headache down the road. You want somebody who's going to compliment you as y'all grow. You know, if you yeah. meet them, and, 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 fellas, don't come out the gate in your bag. <laughs> don't come out your pocket to knock it. In your bag, flat out the gate, <laughs> flat out the gate. Oh, man, I got this one. And out the gate, you can... Bam, bam. Hey, so now she's going to expect that. That's what she's going to expect. But you know what? I'll, this is what I say. If you got to stand on your wallet to prove how tall you are, you a short motherfucker. <laughs> I like that You I know like what I'm saying? One. So don't, don't come out your pocket to knock it, fellas. I come mean, on, man. Yeah. Hey, look, a relationship is not 50-50. It's 100-100. And or it's either zero zero, and it's built on <laughs> it's built on conversation. Yeah, it's how you get to know a person. Communication, you, communication. If you come out the bag right out the gate. How are you getting? Are you getting to know this person? You don't know their quirks. You don't know how they feel. Right. You, don't, you, you dating is not coming out the bag. Dating is going to sit at the park and have a conversation to see if her intellect is right and see if y'all can have hey. to sit down for an hour and converse. Dating is sitting on the porch. Come on. You know what I'm saying? We used to do that, hey, bro. Oh, bro. You Come see, on. Hey, man, it was, it was a big deal to be able to go sit on that, that girl's porch yeah. back in the day. That's up. You know, first of all, Moms them wasn't even having you. who who was this? Who is bruh? <laughs> you you see there there was this whole thing that had to be done before you before even you, got to her house. Yes, sir. That that young lady had to talk you up. Mm -hmm. You know, and when you called, you you probably done talked to moms yeah. on the phone. Okay, uh, who are you? What do you do? This mm -hmm. and that and the other. Pop's gonna give you the once over. Once over, yes, sir. And then now when you get to the porch. Man, you better handle yourself like a young man. Yes, sir. And Absolutely. Guarantee the uncles, the, the brothers, brothers, the cousins, the, the cousins <laughs> everybody is watching you to see how yeah. you move and how you act. Yeah. You know, yeah. They, they don't want you to be some, some hard nosed dude, but they don't want you to be no punk because they yeah, want to exactly. know that when they release this young lady to you, she's in good hands. She's in good hands. Yes, sir. So find 100. Really changed, oh, man. man. Oh man, let me, let me that's, I think that's a whole other show okay. right there. That, Bruh, the game has it's 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 not dating. It's me tricking, taking you like like these dudes are flying these chicks out on these expensive trips, and then when they don't get no ass, they, they get mad, mad and yeah. then they gonna like, well, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a not pay for your ticket back, or I'm gonna kick you out the room, Bruh, You shouldn't have came out your pocket to knock it. Yeah. I mean, I don't care how long y'all been talking before, you know, and I was, hey, that's how you presented yourself, so that's how she came out that way, you, you know what I'm You saying? presented man. yourself as a trick and got tricked. Hey, that's it. That's exactly how it is now, man. It's so, like, ooh. I it is what it is. Day, I man, do too, bro. Find 100 ways. I mean, life's supposed to change and we grow, and, yep. and the times have changed, so we have to change with the times. But, man, I think it was simpler to walk up to a lady and say, hello, how are you today? And try to get them digits. You get shot down. Okay, I got shot down. Yeah. But at least, you you know, you may run into it again and right. shoot your game again. And, but after shit. a while, she get used to seeing you. Cause Nowadays, you keep, that you shit is called your... sexual harassment. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. That's what we're getting at. It's like, damn. You, you, you keep running into it and shooting your shot. And she keeps turning it down. But she might yeah. like it and go... 
You know what? Yeah. You've been pursuing me for a minute now. Take my number. He's you know, persistent. I don't know. It's just the persistence that normally get him sometimes. But yeah. nowadays, you ain't really got to be nah, that persistent, bro. man. You, as soon as you look at him, it's like that that look you get back lets you know if you can shoot your shot or not. So, hey, man, we're just telling you young guys out there, hey, man, man, if you got somebody that's worth, worth it, find 100 ways. Yes, sir. Man. Find 100 ways.